Well, the time is here for all of you that have been following my CNC fails and adventures in the shed. I can give you a preview of what a lot of stepper motors, harmonic drives and aluminium tube and plate can be crafted into. It will be flat earth destroying, you mark my words. But first, here's some background. And first thing I'm going to say, like just yesterday, I was listening, a shout out to Flat Earth Geographer on TikTok. He had that guy, Globe in my face yesterday or Friday, I don't know. And Globers, they are so dishonest. You know, the guy, like two days ago, he was still saying that person in South America, another one in Sydney, and another one in Africa can see the Southern Cross at the same time. So I'm gonna say this again, the only time you can see the Southern Cross in three continents, in three places at the same time is on June 22nd, 2022. Sometimes, you know, a couple of days, one person has to be easternmost part of Brazil, Salvador or Recife, looking southeast. The person in Africa can be looking south anywhere. And the person in Australia has to be in the westernmost part of Australia, in Perth. That's the only time the three people can see the Southern Cross. And that's why, because the Southern Cross is right above Africa. You know, so that's the only time uh, that all three places can see and you have to be in this location. That's the only time. Okay, so they will not stop lying. They always bring this up, uh, you know, Okay, Eddie, let's see who is lying. You know, when you actually have a look, the uh, Southern Cross, the crux, is actually due south from South America. It's also due south from Perth in Australia. It's actually in the, slightly in the southwest when viewed from Africa. It seems like you can't get any of these directions right, mate. No matter how hard you try, or is that lie? Certainly it's a fail either way. Now, I may not be a smart man, now, Banjo is so dishonest that he's not even using the FE map, but a Mercator map. I guess the fact that the angles lined up at just a little more believably on the Mercator map than on the FE map has nothing to do with his choice, does it now? Oh, and then he transformed the Mercator map into a flat circle map, and, well, I wonder why he didn't use his beloved AE map. Oh, well, the angles are not all that different, but boy, are they different from where they should be. I thought South was always opposite to North, Banjo. Now, I may not be a smart man. Like I drew here in black and white. Eddie, you do realise that you have your little man facing almost exactly the wrong way, mate? Now, I may not be a smart man. Oh, you can claim to be not smart, mate. But we all see that in your latest video, you not only used the Mercator map again, but this time you did not use the AE map at all. I guess you know that the AE map makes even less sense. Now, I may not be a smart man. Flat earthers love to complain about how dumb it is to look up at the sky to determine the shape of the earth, but that's only because doing so specifically proves that it's a sphere, and it's one of the ways we figured out that it's a sphere thousands of years ago. Consider people standing towards the southern tips of South America, Africa, and Australia. They all can see the Southern Cross when they look south, and two of them at a time can even see it simultaneously, depending on the time of night. Does that make any sense with these folks all looking in completely different directions. None whatsoever. Come to think of it, what does south even mean on a flat earth? It's totally nonsensical. But again, on a sphere, south actually means something, and all these people are looking in the same direction, towards the south celestial pole, so they can all see the same sky, no problem. Let me point out one point that even Dave got a little wrong. This is not about seeing the Southern Cross. It is about seeing the South Celestial Pole, that is, the centre of rotation that the Southern Cross rotates around and points to. 
The Southern Cross is just at a declination of 63 degrees south, so that means it's around 27 degrees from the centre of rotation, or Sigma Octantis. Now let's look how the southern sky behaves at night. The one point that you notice that is in a constant position is the centre of rotation. So this is about what I want to do come June. Now many have tried to get this observation of the South Celestial Pole at the same time in multiple locations, but it requires people to be up before dawn in Perth and after dusk in South America and a whole lot of coordination. So I want to make this really easy. In fact, so easy that even flat earthers could do it for themselves. Now, I have made a second all-sky camera, and I need the help of one person in Perth. I need a host, someone who would be happy to mount the camera on a pole outside with a clear view of the sky, particularly the southern sky, and aside from a solid mount outside, it will need to be fed 240 volts and Wi-Fi. And if you have a fixed IP address internet, that would be a bonus too. So please, somebody help out Wally. And once I've got it working, I will publish another video with the URLs of the various All Sky cameras and how to use them. It will be super easy, barely an inconvenience. At the right time of day, you will just open up both cameras. If you have clear skies in both places, you will see the SCP visible in both places. You will be able to see the South Celestial Pole visible in both locations in the south sky. And if you come back later, you can verify that direction by observing sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, etc. Now, I can hear you saying, what about South Africa, Wal? Well, there is a camera there, but the operator hasn't got his game together yet. It's not quite on the internet properly. And anyway, South Africa, it's really a bit of a gimme anyway. Oh, hey, maybe I should ask Flatsoy to host the camera for me, just to hear him find any excuse not to do it. Actually, that might be a lot of fun. I should try. Thanks, guys. Hello, friends. Hope you're all doing fine today. Let's make a quick video addressing the false claim of Professor Phony. He came up with this video saying that uh, people in those three regions of the Earth see the Southern Cross looking at different directions. Now, I wonder why didn't he add night and day on his description? Where's night and day on this map? He purposely avoided to confuse his viewers. But that's okay, we're here today to address his false claim. The person in Salvador has to look southeast. The person in Perth, Australia has to look towards the southwest. And that's the per how this person will be able to see 